Uh, more, uh, Mor- Morgan, I guess. Is Morgan coming Spurlock, in. you want to stick around, Mike? Yeah, I'd love to. If you get yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, it's a timing issue today. We got sure. we're, we got a lot a lot going on. Morgan did a That's movie. Cool. A, he did about, a movie about uh, going up in London. Mm. Yeah. So it, is he outside the studio or? Yeah, I let's bring in this Morgan. Was, uh, before, um, obviously, before yeah. this happened, he had been I know. putting this movie together. <laughs> I'm gonna make this movie now. <laughs> How you doing, man? Right. Good to see you again, brother. Hi, buddy. Mike Baker. Yes. Mike Baker. Obviously, we're going to talk about the new movie, but we saw the old movie where you were, went after, you know, Osama bin Laden. Yeah, I was, uh, I was in Pakistan. You did. I was, I was trying to remember Pakistan. You, I was watching that movie, going, "What the hell is he in Pakistan for?" When we know he's in Afghanistan. <laughs> I was trying to remember if you made it to Pakistan. In that yeah, movie. no, that's where we ended up. We we ended in Pakistan. That's where the film. That's where we stopped. R- right, yeah, right. We were we were we were in Peshawar, about to cross into the tribal areas, and you know, at that point, my wife was about a month away, a month and a half away from having our child, and I said, "You know, what? I think it's about time for me to go home." Yeah. I said, as, the night before, the night before, we were about to cross over. Um, or a couple nights before, two nights before, there was a madrasa that was blown up uh, within the tribal area where I guess like 75, 80 people were killed. And, you know, the, the report was it was a it was a train. It was an Al Qaeda training camp. And everybody in the region was like, no, it's not true. And all the journalists were there like saying, you should not go in there. It would be uh, a very yeah, bad idea for uh, bad. you, uh, my American friend, to uh, how, go how, wandering in. What they also was said was, you should go to a battle bed. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I went home. You know? yeah. Yeah. How, how far were you from where they actually caught him? Um, probably about when we were in Islamabad, so shower was further west. When we were in Islamabad, we were probably about, I'm guessing, 40 miles. Yeah, they said yeah. 30, 40 miles. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. so yeah. close. Yeah. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you know how annoyed the people that work at the drugstore across the street were? Like, that was uh, fucking 25 million sitting across the street <laughs> for three years. <laughs> we blew it. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and uh, back then, did people think that you know he was in Pakistan well people thought he was um, well the reports were that he wasn't in that uh, in this this compound where he was that whole time like they didn't get like confirmed intelligence I think that he was there until like the middle of last year that he was still moving around um, when we were there everybody was thinking he was still in like Waziristan you know in the tribal area like hiding out you mm-hmm. know in, in that region so uh, and that's where everybody was pointing us to head Wow. But uh, but yeah, if he the, was the, for the a while. fact that he was like in some big giant compound right outside the the capital is pretty phenomenal. It really yeah. it was. So I yeah. guess you you were surprised then when you heard the news. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, wow. it's, like, it's like why he's like why he's right outside of town. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the burbs. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's a commuter. Howard yeah. Johnson right across yeah. the street yeah. from there. That's, right. yeah. That's why I just pictured him looking exactly like he does with the. Uh, you know, headgear and the big beard just pushing a lawnmower <laughs> outside his house, <laughs> waving to the neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Edging the uh, curb. Yeah, right. <laughs> See this big fucking turban over the seven-foot wall bouncing? <laughs> <laughs> Who lives there? It's a tall gentleman. Yeah, he certainly is. <laughs> So what is your uh, what's your new your new project? You do great stuff, man. Yeah, no, thanks. It's uh, it's a new movie uh, that looks at the whole world of like uh, advertising, marketing, and product placement. And the whole film's actually paid for by advertising and product placement. I saw the trailer for this, uh, yeah. and it looks hysterical. Uh, uh, and and it looks at first impossible. Yeah. But you pulled it off. Yeah. And the product placement thing is is hilarious mm-hmm. because it's everywhere. It's every, yeah, it every, gets every, to the point you where the you're today. just going around getting sponsorships in these meetings right uh which came off some of them looking ludicrous <laughs> yeah. sitting down with these people like they couldn't believe what you were trying to do and uh but but you pulled it off yeah no we raised uh we raised the full budget of the movie through sponsors like about 1.8 million dollars uh which is nothing because the story just broke yesterday that uh, the 007 film the new 007 a third of that movie is going to be paid for by product placement oh, oh really? wow. so a third of like 50 million dollars oh, wow. of that budget so it's like that whole movie is going to be like a giant like commercial just for like commercial. tuxedos and, uh, and Aston Martin watches <laughs> and, watch, and yeah. cool James Bond shit. <laughs> do you remember the Walter first PPKs <laughs> the first time I saw product placement was in Superman 2 that I can remember Remember that I mm. recognized when he gets thrown through a Marlboro truck. You, you that was the, like uh, you know, when they're fighting in the street. That's the first time I can remember acknowledging a product that was in yeah. a movie. Well, he gets I mean, tossed through the big Coca Cola sign. That's too. right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember that. Part. That's right. No, I mean I remember as a kid when I went to see E. T. and I'd never had a Reese's Pieces, and I as a kid I loved the M and M's. The M and M's were amazing. I loved Reese's Cups, and now here was a uh-huh. Reese's Cup in an M M&M. and M. I was like, holy cow, it's the best in. of both worlds. Shit, I'm in. Yeah. Did they so, say that in E. T.? I don't remember. No, they didn't say what it was. They just said Reese's Pieces, and I said, what is that? And my mom oh. said, my mom leaned over. She goes, it's like a. Reese's 
Reese Cup and an M&M. And I was like, oh. we're going to the store Sounds immediately. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> yeah, they sold a few through That's that right. movie. Yeah, they did all right. Yeah. What was the earliest uh, product placement? Do you know? A uh, sheet. Like, birth of a nation. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, very high threat count of sheets. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, uh, the amazing thing, like Thomas Edison, you know, or even before that, like Jules Verne sold, uh, sold the naming rights to shipping companies in around the world in 80 days. So in a book. But, uh, but in <laughs> film... Uh, Thomas Edison used to put ads for his own products in the movies that he shot. What a whore. Genius. I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's great. Hey, genius. the light bulb. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> this is some good stuff right there. <laughs> wow. So uh, you wound up getting the whole thing paid for uh, through sponsorships. Yeah. And um, so that's the best part. So like day one, the movie opened, the film was already in profit. Yeah, see that's yeah, uh, yeah, now, yeah. now what yeah. and all they wanted in return was that their logo be well no they featured wanted, they wanted a lot more than that like they wanted ownership in the film we were like absolutely not it's like you're giving me money to be in the movie so right it's not you're, you're gonna go sell like widgets go sell your widgets that's yeah so you it had money. nothing to do with them uh, loaning you money and and then uh, you having to compensate through profit on the the movie it's yeah it's strictly product placement and it does it does it work like a, a NASCAR. Uh, a sponsorship where you know the fender gets a little more. The hood is like the big money. And yeah, like the people who paid the most. Like I, you know, I have a uh, I have a suit that I that I yeah, wear on yeah, television. I saw that, like my, my NASCAR prom suit. <laughs> yeah, and so like anybody who's in like the on the lapels, those are like very it's very high high dollar value. That's like a big right one. across right across the stomach, high dollar value. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it did work like that where the but the placement placement uh, they, everything they had to cough up some more more money. Yeah. Wow, and and the fact that the movie is about getting the money. It's sort of this weird paradox thing. Yeah, like uh, Jimmy Kimmel, when he saw the film, he goes, well, this is like the inception of documentaries. And I was like, That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was, I was like, I'm putting that on the poster. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> uh, yeah, there wouldn't be a documentary if you weren't making it about something, making money to that's make right. the documentary. Right. So it really is an odd concept. But, yeah. uh, that's, Smart, that's you. <laughs> that's yeah, that's a, the I, odd, I, I concept. odd concept. Uh, that, that is you. <laughs> Do you notice other people kind of coming out with the, um, these Morgan Spurlock esque documentaries? Well, it's like there's, I always get sent emails of people who have like, uh, you know, the people who continually to make films to like disprove like the McDonald's diet, like the, the disprove super size me. It's like, look, I ate it for six years and I'm still healthy. You know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's, uh, so I always get I always get those emails from people but uh, yeah there's a lot of people who are doing like stunt films now or putting themselves in movies it's it's, it's crazy it super size me was great you, oh, fu thanks. you fucked up your body. Yeah, for, like, to, <laughs> to this day, like I, I like will gain weight like that. Like I can put on five, ten pounds in a weekend. You think that just genetically changed you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I think that what people don't realize is when you gain weight, you know that uh, that when you lose it, when you lose it, those fat cells don't vanish. It's like, oh, it's, I'm going to be fine now. It's like those fat cells just don't like you know jump ship. They're still in there. They're just really skinny. Uh, so really? Now my body's filled with all these. And they're just skin. waiting. They're just waiting. I got these little <laughs> skinny, oh, waiting. skinny yeah. Renee Zellweger Come on, cells Morgan, just swimming feed around us, my body. Morgan. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That at any moment, yeah. if you uh, eat more. wrong, one more just... slice of pizza, one more. <laughs> is that what lipo does? It actually takes them out. Is that what he'll get? It sucks the fat cells out. Oh, okay. So they, so then you can eat a, a piece of cake at least, and you don't blow up immediately. That's right. Uh, I, like, I can't. Think, oh. Thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> My idea: I do thirty minutes on the elliptical machine, and then I reward myself with a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fat pig hamster. <laughs> Poor Jimmy, <laughs> sick of my body. <laughs> what? Uh, when? When does the movie come out? It's it out. just open. Oh, it is just out. Open. Yeah. Just open. Yeah, just open. So, what Where? was the, the total budget? Uh, the, for the whole film was one point eight million. That's what I thought so, you said. Okay, so, yeah, so it wasn't a lot. You're probably gonna do well with this. You're not gonna lose, obviously. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, the, hopefully, knock on wood. But uh, yeah. you know, that's, that's the thing. It's like there's brands that came on. Like we we sold the above the title sponsorship to the movie, so the movie's actually called Palm Wonderful Presents, the greatest movie ever sold. Yeah. And so they bought the above the title sponsorship for a million bucks, but we didn't get the full million up front. We only got six hundred grand. So the other four hundred is tied to like you know certain box office and screens worldwide and downloads and DVD sales. And yeah, and they were real. They were smart about their uh, much, their negotiating. How much does big product placement cost, like in a, in a major hundred million dollar film? Well, like uh, like in Transformers, they paid like ten million bucks to have like all the like all the what against General Motors, all the all the Camaros and all the all the yeah, new cars in there. Right. Yeah, but what if, yeah. what about a box of cereal in in the kitchen? Oh, it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like 50, uh, 50 grand. That's it. 150, 100 grand. Right. That, that seems like a pretty good on, deal. Depends on how close it is. Too bad they didn't do that with Bin Laden's murder. How great would that have been? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking this, right. this shot sponsored by Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really confused by that. I'm confused by this movie because what do you t you tell the sponsors that they're going to be in this movie? Yeah, that kind of takes the piss out of uh, being sponsors of the movie. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but what it's kind of like that reverse cool thing, right? Then they right. kind of get some cred yeah. they get, because they're in with something that's, you know. You know but how do you tell them what they're yeah. in? Yeah, right. How do you tell them what the movie's about? I basically tell them, say, it's a movie all about this that's uh, basically paid for by this. That's, that's going to be great. One it's of the just funniest, amazing. But yeah. that's some of the funniest things. What I saw in, in the trailer was yeah. uh, in the conference rooms when you're talking to these people and trying to convince them that this is a great idea. It's a great idea. It's all about product placement, and you're going to pay to be in the movie. And yeah. Then, right. And it wasn't easy. Like we called, uh, I called over 600 companies to sponsor the film, um, of which you know, 97.5% of them said no. Like right. The success rate in this film was like 2.5%. I was know? very but, happy to yeah. see the pony shampoo. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Made and tail. Made, I, made, I, made yeah, and tail. Right. Made and tail just, got in there. I just <laughs> feel like you would be stuck in a loop, though. Yeah. And then they go, but what's the movie about? Right. And yeah. then you say it again, and but what's say, the movie and about? It's a paradox. And then I, and then I right. say, you're watching the movie right now. This right. is it. <laughs> right now, we're shooting. Yeah, yeah. Morgan, you're brilliant. <laughs> we're shooting. You're right fucking now. brilliant. Yeah, at one point, it's, and, and the shot is hysterical because somebody goes, what's the movie about? And and uh, Morgan just turns around and goes, this is it. You're in it. You're in it already. You don't even know it. What was the biggest surprise yes you got? The biggest surprise, yes, yeah, was, the, the, uh, was a Hyatt Hotels, like Hyatt, uh, which is like a real oh, kind go, of yeah, real conservative, uh, conservative company, conservative family. Like when they jumped on, I was like, "Wow, we might actually pull this off. This, this is fantastic." <laughs> what it's was not it? like some mom and pop, like Bob's, you know, Bob Shipping? You know, it's like a real company. Hey, that's a good question. When did you realize that this was going to be a movie that people would see? Because you go into this going, this could be a disaster. Yeah, well, you never know. I think <laughs> until, I think Sundance. When the movie premiered at Sundance and it played. No, like, I mean when you were filming, though. Oh, like, where you knew well, as a creative else, person that, that you had something. Um, there was a moment when uh, when we called Maine and Tail when I was speaking to them on the phone. Yeah, Maine and, and I, Tail. And I was chasing them for months trying to get them to do the movie. And uh, finally, about halfway, I, I set up a call with them. I'm talking to the president of the company. And you hear, like, so you hear me say to him on the phone, say, he goes, well, how's it going to work? And I said, well, we'll probably see the product in the beginning. You and I'll have a conversation somewhere in the middle talking about the placement, and then we'll see it again in the end. Wow. And he goes, that sounds great. And as I was having that phone conversation and we're filming it, I'm like, oh, yeah, we're just, I, this, that, that all just actually happened right during that. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Yeah, I could cross that one off. Perfect. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. <laughs> was, was there one, was there a sponsor that you really wanted to get that didn't come through? Well, I really wanted a – see, the whole goal was to make, like, a documentary blockbuster, mm -hmm. like, a, like a dockbuster. And yeah. you can't have a blockbuster without a fast food partner. Well, and so true, yeah. and so I was like, well, we got to have a fast food partner. So, of course, we called McDonald's. McDonald's yeah. didn't call back. They yeah. said, you, I called, super size me. I called them four times, five times. Like, literally, I'm calling like, – fifth time, <laughs> sixth time I left a message, I'm like, hey, it's Morgan Spurlock. It's going to be really different this time. You guys <laughs> <laughs> Please call me. You know, here's my number. Thanks. Uh, never called back. They hate you, don't they? they they, well, it's, it's, we got a great relationship. You know, I, I call them; they don't call back. Works out fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's the strange thing. Super Size Me did great, and, and you yeah. didn't affect their numbers in the end. Mm -mm. Maybe in the short term, they, maybe. Did, they did better in the end. I think they're. Uh, I think they're worth. You think your movie now. actually helped their business? They should. They should. Be, they should send me a thank you note. Yeah, yeah <laughs> or really. at least like some sort of like a, a pick me up bouquet, <laughs> made out of like bacon and fries. Right. Do you <laughs> eat there at all ever? Never. 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 Not <laughs> Never. The, last time, no, the last time I ate there was March second, two thousand three. Like the at the party scene at the end of the movie, you see me kind of having my final birthday farewell. Right. Occasional coming home on the road at two in the morning. There's nothing open. The rest areas all have uh, McDonald's, and I'll grab a couple of ham. Once in a while, it's great, yeah, but I can't do it more than once bit. every two months. Yeah, like see, but like late at night, I find there's so many. There's other great places to get burgers in the city. Like there's great like dirty, dirty in New York. Yeah, yeah. In New York. Oh, yeah. yeah. The rest of the country doesn't York. have that. Yeah, in but the it's, city, it's like why the hell would you bother? Yeah, yeah. There's so there's many great good burgers. Places. So many good burgers. Yeah, but like yeah. if I'm in LA, like I love uh, like the original Tommy Burger, like at Beverly and Rampart, that's out in East LA. It's like this little shack that's been making burgers for like 50, 60 years, and mm. it's like a heart attack and a wrapper. It's, <laughs> but like that's a great late night burger. How's Five Guys? I haven't had. Yeah, yeah. I had, had uh, a Five had Guys a, oh, burger. No, I didn't even know it was a place. I just I thought it was an odd question. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is this his next yeah. document? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's like, it's five guys. It sounds like a lot of work. It's like, it's like a new Belladonna movie. Yeah. That's worse than four, not as bad as six. <laughs> <laughs> we go way back with you. You remember, right? Way back, I bet you will. Way back. Uh, remember that? Way back oh, when you guys. Oh, man.
man. We were yeah. at WNEW. You were on he came in as radio. That's you, a, but you came in as a nobody with this nobody. idea that did very well, and then yeah. uh, you moved on to we sold film. It to, we sold it to MTV. Like yeah. we, we were with you guys first when we were on the web. Yeah. Like, you guys Shit, picked up I on totally early. didn't even realize that was you. That's remember, right. he would, he yeah. would do, like street stuff. I, yeah. I'm trying to remember exactly. Like, he made people. You would talk for people into doing crazy shit. Show talk. I bet you will. We bet people to do stupid shit on the street for money. Just walk up to random people out of nowhere. And we did some great, great bets. We did one. We did one on the street, which we ended up redoing in your guys' studio, which was we handcuffed three people together, and uh, and uh, and it was called the piss off. And so the people said so they would just they would start drinking like you know ten ounces of liquid every minute, and the first person to pee themselves got a hundred.